Everyone has a scar on their body from something dumb they did as a child. What's your story? I was 5 and was sitting on the toilet. I found a razor blade, not the kind for shaving, and started playing with it. I was cutting lines into the wall when the razor slipped away from the wall. My hand had some momentum and the blade cut into my thigh. At the time, I was scared about telling mom, so I went to bed and held my finger on it. Oh and, when I was 3 or 4, I was riding underneath a grocery basket while mom was pushing. I was watching the wheel spinning fast. I went to put my finger on the wheel and it was pulled in between the wheel and metal casing. Broke a vase, tried to glue it back together with toothpaste. I left it by a bedroom door and forgot about it. Ran into the bedroom later and promptly stepped on it. I was playing freeze dance in kindergarten, spinning around and, when the teacher said freeze I smashed my face into a table causing me to break my nose. On the subject of breaking noses, my dad's story is that he stood on one of those fold down chairs at a boxing match to get a better view, like the chairs in cinemas, and it folded up sending him flying nose first into the chair in front. When I was in 3rd grade, I think, I was running in the hallway at school at the break between classes. As I was running I turned around the corner and my classmate just so happened to be running too. As expected, we ran into each other which resulted in me breaking my nose and needing to get surgery to fix it, while nothing serious happened to my classmate. The second I was born I clawed my own face, and I got a small scar. It's not very visible anymore. When I was in kindergarten, I found out what a world record was, so I tried to be the first ever kindergartener to do a front flip into a bathtub. Now, I've never even done a front flip, I was basing everything from my form to my execution of it on Power Rangers. So, it went about as good as you thought it would go. I jumped, face first, no tuck, roll, anything, into the sharp corner of the bathtub, and busted my chin open. My twin sister was just standing there screaming, and so was I, blood was everywhere, and when my mom came in she looked horrified. Got my chin glued back together pretty much, because I refused to get stitches, or get it cauterized, because they both sounded super painful. Reminds me of when my sister broke her arm. I wanted to bike down a big hill, and didn't realize yet, that little sisters will follow big sisters everywhere, no matter how scary. Down I go, and she follows. On rollerblades. She hit uneven pavement at the bottom and face planted. There was instantly blood everywhere, and she also broke her arm. So for a few minutes we repeated. Me, where is the blood coming from? Her, my arm is broken. Then I found it was just her chin. Got hysterical laughs, and went to get my mom. Obviously her arm hurt a lot, and looked wrong. So she was focused on that. I was worried she was bleeding everywhere, and was focused on that. We were both too focused to redirect our focus. But yeah. Turns out chins, bleed a lot. My best friend and I did gymnastics, when we were younger and her parents got her a pull up bar for her doorway. Well we never used it for actual pull ups, but one day she was swinging on it, and it came down. With her momentum she went flying forward, and busted under her chin on a door handle. So much blood. So many stitches. I was so pumped to eat my toaster strudel that I just shoved my hand into the toaster oven while it was still on like a bear pawing at a beehive. The top of my wrist hit the heat bar, not sure what the word for this is, dead on while it was still red hot 18 years later. It's a pretty subtle scar, but god that hurt like a bee at the time. The dumbest part of this incident, despite the fact that my wrist had just audibly and excruciatingly sizzled, I somehow thought that the crisp skin that remained was a flake of toaster strudel that had fallen off and proceeded to eat it. Me rinds did not taste good. Been jumping on a mattress. Hit the radiator. Cracked my skull open. Have a scar on the inner part of my thigh from riding a bicycle. I don't know exactly how, but I fell and the bike ripped my inner thigh to hell. Blood was everywhere, had to get stitches. When they were doing that, I saw chunks of my flesh being pulled off from the needles. I remember being on the gurney in the hallway, because the hospital didn't have rooms, and my dumbass had the habit of wearing shorts without boxes, so I felt extra uncomfortable and weird. I was lying there, and I was scared as f. 
I touched the outer part of the gash wound, and I felt flesh. It's now a 5 inch scar, and one side of the scar is a little bit concaved. Supposedly that's the side that got messed up the most, so the scar itself looks like it dips a on the side. Doctor said cause I was chubby, my thick thighs saved me from getting my leg chopped off. Better yet, it saved me from getting my dick chopped off too. Point is, thick thighs. Saves lives. Probably 5 or 6 years old, doing swimming lessons at a place in New Zealand, the pool had metal bars all around it a few centimeters under the water to be held onto, when you were to short or the water deeper. I was sort of jumping slash bouncing in the shallow end listening to instructions, and somehow lost my footing, and fell with my chin slamming right down onto the bar and blood absolutely everywhere. I don't know how one manages to slip not just in a non-slip children swimming lesson shallow pool nor how I even managed to injure myself doing so, but I did, and I've got a tiny little scar under my chin to show for it. I didn't go back to the place for many years, live overseas but mother is Kiwi and we were on holiday, but eventually when I did, age 12 or 13, it turns out they removed the bars on all sides, even the deep end of the pool, because they were afraid my parents might sue, they never would have even considered it. One of the other kids in that swimming class actually asked why there was nothing to hold on to except for the rather difficult to reach ledge in the deep end and the instructor explained my above story. They weren't aware that I was the infamous kid who caused all that trouble so were quite shocked at my laughter. The scar left behind from a huge bite a German shepherd took off of my left hip. He was beyond the fence, and I was playing with his owner, chasing each other around in the yard. We were both 9 at the time. The dog got so worked up by our laughter and constant running around, that he broke through the fence, pushed me to the ground and bit me really hard. He was pretty much my size at the time, an amazingly strong animal. He was only protecting his owner, thinking we were fighting or something. I hid that scar from my family my entire life, because I was at my friend's house to play without their permission. It took months for the wound to heal, and the use of a couple of powder antibiotics that my granddad farmer kept in the house to tend to his animals. That was when I started to wash my own clothes, to the sheer delight of my mum, who saw that as a great sign of maturity given my age at the time. My family does not know about that episode even today, and I'm a grown ass 45 year old guy. I have a scar from something dumb I did as an adult. I was working at a holiday resort, and we were doing games in the pool which involved a hula hoop. My job was to get people enjoying it, and having a good time, so to build the atmosphere I decided to do a dolphin dive through the hoop that my colleague was holding. What I didn't realize was that the water was only waist deep. I hit my head and shoulder on the bottom of the pool very hard and now sport a beautiful scar on my left temple. I feel lucky to be alive. I didn't study for an exam, and I knew I was gonna fail. I faked having a stomach ache and now I have a scar on my belly from an appendix operation. Learning how to ride a bike, when I was 6. I was in my house learning how to ride a bike, when my mom told me there was nuggets for dinner. I crashed into something, and hit my forehead on the wall. My mom came rushing towards me, and I said, oh it's fine. I touched my forehead, and saw something red. I even have ketchup for the nuggets. My mother started crying of laughter. When she stopped, she brought me to the hospital and I just had some stitches. We then went to McDonald's, so we still had nuggets. Long story short, don't ride a bike in your apartment kids. When I was 12, I was wheeling a grill up a hill. I wanted to bring it to my fort in the woods. Well I lost my grip, and one of the grill's leg came down, and sliced my ankle. It was pretty deep too. I probably should have gotten stitches, but was too embarrassed of the whole thing. So I washed it out, put Neosporin and wrapped my ankle with gauze. Repeated this for a month. Now I have a good size scar. I was about 6 or 7, and I had a pair of scissors I wasn't supposed to have. They were my mom's fabric shears, and had super sharp blades, you know. The all metal type, 80's style. Well, I didn't want to give them back. Because I was using them, to cut up her sheet, I believe, so, strike two, so I ran from her. We were going in circles around the little divider wall between our kitchen, and living room like Tom and Jerry lol. Her screaming at me to please stop running, and me running even harder, and laughing like a maniac. 
I have no idea WTF I was thinking, since I knew an ass whipping was imminent for not only disrespecting my mama, but running with said scissors. In my memory now, it's comical. At the time, I was scared to death. Then my dad came home, and I really panicked. I just knew I was about to get my bells rung, so I tossed the scissors straight up in the air as I was running. Smart right. I was in self-preservation mode at that time, doing anything to avoid the inevitable. They boomeranged back towards me, and one of the blades hit me in the foot like an effing javelin. OMG the pain, and it bled forever, it seemed. I'm now in my 40s, and I still have that scar on my foot, shaped like a little moon. Kids, I swear. That's it for today, I'll see you all tomorrow. Be excellent please.